After walking ourselves into the ground in Mississippi with no antlers found, we headed down to Alabama to meet up with Joseph and his family. They reached out to us through Instagram DMs and invited us to walk a piece of property that they manage. You never quite know how that stuff's going to go, but I don't think it could have turned out any better than it did. Also, make sure to stay tuned to the very end of this one for a surprise ending. That's a heavy box. I just matched him. My name's Ben, and I'm on a quest to find a shed in every state in the U.S. I don't even know if this is possible, and I'm risking everything to try to get it done. Come along with me as we travel the country in search of shed antlers. So good morning from probably the coolest place we've stayed on the shed tour. We drove in here in the dark last night and let's just say it's pretty, it's pretty incredible. And I'm very excited to be here. So we stayed last night in these cabins. So these are from the 1830s, right? Yeah, 1837. And they're called what, a dog trot cabin, yeah. right? I mean, they're just amazing. And these are, were brought out here. I guess they brought them out to this property, but we stayed here last night in the canvas cutters in like one of the coolest cabins. Les, what do you think? There's really not words. It's incredible. It's a sweet place, just isn't it? Absolutely cool and thankful to be here. So this is really an incredible place. Uh, it's mostly farmed, but these guys do a lot of deer hunting as well. Very serious deer hunters. We had a look last night at some of the bucks they've taken off this property. We're excited to go hike it, to say the least. So, Alabama, we're here. Let's go do this thing. And you know it wouldn't be a shed hunt with me and Les without rain. Alabama, what you got for us, baby? Watching this cur dog was one of the highlights of the trip. They actually have an Instagram where they showcase this dog blood trailing deer and it's really cool to check it out. The link to that channel will be in the description of this video. Squirrel dog. <laughs> Where'd them gators at? Dead there. This time of year it's already greened up. Growing up, I could be sheds and all this stuff. I always never find them. Saltwater well, huh? That's crazy. Little taste of the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> no good for drinking. Man, you can hear that shirt all light up. Oh, a giant, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big old monster. And then as soon as Ooh. I came out, I found that guy. Ooh. That thing looks pretty sweet. Pick him up. Let's see. <laughs> it's a wild buck, man. <laughs> <laughs> a little chewed up on the hands. Just barely. A lot of points, huh? Yeah. It'd be nice next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right on. Good find. Yeah. Not a bad buck either. You got some crazy points too. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Holy oh, cow. Wow. <laughs> That thing is wild. I saw that. That thing crazy? Well, we're in the zone of the deadheads. Still haven't managed to stumble on a shed, but I'd be pretty stoked to walk on an antler like that. I mean, that's pretty much just as cool, right? 80% as cool. It's twice as cool. It's got two of them. There you go. Cool. Look at, look at that double beam. Yeah, awesome. And like some of the houses we, or the bucks we saw last night in the house had that going on. Weird stuff, but like, I mean, bucks like two and a half, three inches wide on the back of his beam right there. So that's something. We're on the board. We got a couple dead bucks. 
Now we just got to get these sheds locked down. Yeah, that's not good. Watch the missing pan. Back at the cabin for a little bit of lunch uh, and just finished eating. Gonna go run off a field edge right here and check a little spot before everybody comes back down. And then we have a spot, a few spots that we're gonna hit this afternoon. So, man, I really hope we can get this one done. I was like really expecting to be able to find one pretty early on today and then have the pressure off, but hasn't happened yet as it looks right now. Like there's a real possibility that we'll swing and miss in two states in the south. That would suck, but I don't know. We're gonna go try it again. Oh, look at that thing. Yeah, there's, some, there's some nice ones in there. Look at that horn. What? That's a giant ape. That's what we're trying to find. Oh man, even that thing. Look at that. See folks, after the last couple videos, you might not believe antlers exist. But they do. They exist. Yep. <laughs> All kinds of cool stuff in there. How long to take one home? Oh, look at that. Trop tines. How long will it take one to get like that? They're usually five years old when they start doing this crazy stuff. Yeah. And we try not to shoot them until they're five to six years old. Jeez, look oh at that. Oh my god. Got her done in Bama. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, thank you, dude. Film that one for me. You guys, we've been, I mean, we're halfway through the day and I had faith, I had faith we were gonna get it done. I was believing in you, but having not found anything so far, I was a little, little nervous, but there we go. Got a, Good chunk of skull with that poor thing. No kidding. But we got us an Alabama shed antler. Got the cur dog over there about to eat a squirrel in the trees, but there you go, folks. Check it off the list. That's state number eight, Alabama. We did what we couldn't do in Mississippi yesterday. I can't tell you guys what a relief it is to get one in Alabama after striking out in Mississippi and been really like, we hiked a lot earlier today. For no sheds, just that one really cool deadhead, but oh, pretty dang relieving to be checking off this state. And now we gotta start scheming about either circling back to Mississippi to try it again, or skipping over to Louisiana. We don't know what's coming next. Talked about maybe going to Florida, but also kinda running down on time. So, oh, man, it's a relief. Alrighty. Got it. There you go. We're in the zone now. Yeah. Oh, we must boy. be. Good looking the antler. They do exist, Young see? <laughs> Alabama actually. We're growing bigger in Alabama, <laughs> but that's a start. Nice. Last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly. I think it's him. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> well, that's good to find a year old, huh? Yeah. A few around that made it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Abu. I thought that's the one. Yeah, it's. it's what? Probably last year's. That thing had to be hidden just right because I was. You are. Dude, I was like 10 or 12 yards right there. But this was that little rise. There's no way. Yeah, I was sitting there. Because I freaking crossed. We, we both crossed right there. Like I turned around, I glassed everything. Like, and that thing, I, as soon as you said it, like I could see it from 50 yards. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he just stuck it in the mud after he walked back through here. I don't think so. No. No. no.
You never had one. It's like a really nice three point is laying this way. It's like right here. You didn't have one. I can see it. Give me uh -huh. Dude, I know. I was like, I almost stepped on it. Like, this is horrid. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's a good antler. That's big. Gosh, Here, man. let me get your camera. Yeah, you're yeah, I, can camera. I can do it. I think you can get that one. I can, I can double duty here. What's nice that? shit. Awesome. What was that? Oh, that one hurt too, man. Good job, Bless. Thank you. Yeah, the last buck. So, actually, that made, I had a six point over here. I wanted to call. He was a two hundred pound no six kidding. point. Yeah, that may be him. Good looking deer. Sweet. Yeah. Count it. Biggest Count. of the day. So, all over on this property, we keep finding random debris like that. Big piece of aluminum wrapped around a tree and that's actually tornado debris falls in here at a high rate of speed and wraps up in whatever it runs into kind of a weird one huh yeah had potential yeah I, maybe I, in a two or three years he'll be something to see brag if that about. thing's laying flat yeah you won't see it come on I never find that that's a wild looking antler it was laying flat but it was on a limb that was holding that part uh, up so that's wild, perfectly flat. Yeah, we have a lot of them that are palmated like that as uh -huh. well. Which Ooh, is kind of cool. How about jumped out while we were going? That, that's a weird, like, look at that split beam. There we go. Look at that thing. That's a freak. <laughs> How would they even be like that? Man, you guys got a lot of split main beam bucks down here. I mean, is it like that? The two singles? Surely not. Right? Yeah, it looks like two singles. <laughs> we just happen to be in the same place. I mean, were they like Maybe fighting? They fighting. And... Yeah, they could have been. That's what it was. That's the only thing I can think because yeah. they don't, they're different size pedicles. Yeah. But no, they're both broke. I think it's two different bucks. Just what the? Be. Unless he sat like that. He could have. I don't, I don't know. know. But they're almost different colors. Yeah. What do you think, Pop? He smells like a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, either it's set or two singles. That's a pretty sweet little way to end the day. Yeah. That's what I've been hoping for all day out of the ranger. Then you don't have to walk anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good antler. Well, it's kind of little, but. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not a bad antler. That's got your weird kind of a brow tine gene on it. Man, we went from, well, I went from one to four real quick. <laughs> deer. No, I knew that. We yeah, see the signs. See That's what we ended up with, though. Pretty good. I don't, I don't have Just kind of in closing to this video, I need to say that the Wilson family is an amazing family. The time that we got to spend with them was truly something that I'll look back on as a fond memory of this trip forever. Amazing people, great food, and just absolutely top tier. I can't say enough good about them. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for this trip here in Alabama. We are done, and as you can see, we had a great day. We had an awesome trip with these guys here, and a huge thanks to them for having us out and showing us around this great property. It's been really special today, and a lot better than Mississippi, that's all I'm gonna say. So, <laughs> appreciate you tuning in. Oh, you thought this story was over? Not quite yet. With Alabama knocked out, we said goodbye to Grady, Joseph, and the rest of the Wilson family and hopped on Onyx Maps. We realized that we had enough time to head back to Mississippi and give it one more shot for just a couple hours. Well, folks, we got a little bit of time on our way through from Alabama. We're gonna try Mississippi again. We found a little bit of a wildlife uh, management area that's open to the public, backs up to some ag, to some hunting clubs. So we're gonna cross our fingers and see if we can't pull it off on our way through to Arkansas. So maybe the Mississippi story is not quite done yet. Cross your fingers for us. All right, folks, so we pulled up 
some public land here and we're gonna see what happens no idea just absolutely no idea there's a little bit of cotton fields that this backs up to and we're gonna go try it see what happens so what we're working with just thick and ugly and gonna have to step on one to find it but couldn't not try these different trails have decent sign on them going back through so I mean they're pretty living here Oh my gosh, I think we just got Mississippi. No way I saw that. Please be a shed and not a dead head. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh! I thought for sure we were going home without it. I thought for sure. <laughs> Freaking Mississippi. We came, we rerouted our whole trip to come back through here. Woo! Oh my gosh, here's Les right here. Dude, I can't believe I saw this. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, I cannot tell you guys the immense amount of relief it is to not have to make a full trip back to this state. When we left the other day, unsuccessful, I was sure that I didn't have any reason to come back. And then because we had some plans change and we weren't able to uh, make it to Louisiana when we hoped we were, all of a sudden we had basically, I mean, a free few hours on our way through Mississippi to try it again. And uh, we just found this piece of public land and looked at what part of it backed up to some ag and I got one and Les has another one over here. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice this. Look at that, big old spider in there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna snag Les's and I think we'll just hit it for a little while. I mean, you might as well spend the time that we had planned to hit it anyway and see if we can find some more, so. But happy to be moving on, happy to be getting her done in Mississippi. That's a couple year old antler, so. And it's actually freaking big. Nice little bed head buck pretty and chewed up didn't see it till it was right at my feet what, what you got adult easter egg presents <laughs> let's see what it is let's do it. <laughs> Ooh, it looks nice yeah yeah he's an oldie i think chewed up a little chewed but ooh, big though Heck yes, dude, that's been after this whole time. Ooh, he's big. Let's get an ATL here. Yeah, some photos. Ooh, that brow is big. It's very chewed. An elk Easter egg hunting it doesn't get any better than that. He's been in there for a minute. <laughs> that's a good horn. Dang, man, too bad he's so chewed. Look, he's got great mass right? on his beam. Sweet buck. Heck yeah, dude. We got her freaking Mississippi. Mississippi done. Redemption, public land. Dang. That's a great buck. I mean, we did okay for how many miles? 20 miles the other day for nothing. Yep. I'd say we take that. I mean, we're like, what, maybe a few miles on the bays all? Yeah. But totally. We're going to loop up, get on the road to Arkansas. Well, folks, spite everything, we got her done in Mississippi. We're not leaving a state unfinished so far. So we took us about uh, three hours. We got her done. We're back in the van. We got about a five and a half hour drive to Arkansas, and we are rolling there. But in the famous words of Eric, she of Derek Chester, killer of the fireball, that's why you go back. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, I got a spider web on here. Hold on. All right, guys, so let's go to Arkansas. Well, folks, another late night editing session done. Dang, I was going to try to be in bed by midnight, but that's not happening. So I uh, just finished editing this Alabama, Mississippi video. And uh, first of all, I want to just say thank you to everybody for the support after the last video where we didn't get Mississippi 
honestly didn't think we were going to be able to get back there and get it done. So thank you. And I wasn't going to count it. I was just going to keep rolling. But um, we got it. We can count it now. So I do need to thank some people who bought apparel. Thank you, everybody who's been buying stuff. Uh, Takara Robinson. Thank you. Andrew Tart. Almost Andrew Tate. Top G. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Sebastian Theron again. I think that's the third order I've seen. Travis Prather. Michael Muir. And Joseph Stahl. Stahlstimer. Stahlsmeyer. I don't know how you say your name, Joseph, but I see it pop up in your comments and stuff all the time. And I really appreciate you guys for supporting in the merch. And I do need to address something. Um, the hoodies have been so slow. Like we've been fighting to get everything out. And I think most of the orders have shipped now, shipped now, but we do have some orders with hoodies that are hung up and they've been delayed for a while. It's such a frustration. I get on there and check every day, hoping that they've shipped, but it's just something to do with the machinery with the apparel company that I use. And so I apologize if you bought apparel and it's been slow. I promise we're trying to get that stuff out as fast as we can. But thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for tuning in. Glad that we were able to get two states knocked out in one video. Headed to Arkansas next. And then um, a surprise road trip to a long distance state. So enjoy. Thank you guys for watching the series.